Hi, pen friends. This is Sarah. And Eve. So today we're not at our usual place for making videos. Changed places. Do um, you like the candles? Yep. We're, oh, we needed a little bit of ambiance because today <laughs> we are reviewing a pen stand that is made by our friend Brian, who has a YouTube channel called Down the Breather Hole. And I think pen stands look best on a real desk instead of a tray table. So we're here at my writing desk in my room. And we've got what some candlelight. Candle we're going to show off how this pen stand looks in, you know, its nice environment <laughs> where it shows off pens and everything around it on your this, writing this desk. This pen stand deserves the... The pen so. stand deserves the good environment, and yes. to the back, the spiral. There's li this little spiral on the back, and like he actually burned the spiral in there, so that's really cool. Yeah. So, um, his channel down the breather hole has this um, spiral as part of his logo, so he wanted to incorporate yeah. that on the pen stand and. You can see he made a video of him burning that into the wood, yeah. and he it, used it made, like it um, made like a little squeaking noise. Yeah, it made a squeaking noise. It was really awesome. You should watch his video to yeah, hear that. You should. Um, he bent a fork tine and heated it up and then pressed it into the wood, and it branded the wood and made this awesome sound yeah. when he did it. Can I? Can I feel? Sure. Ooh. Yeah. It's like. Is, you know, like indent it's indented in right into the wood. Yeah. So that is really cool. And it's on the underside of the pen rest. So that's another thing that I really like about this pen rest is that it's not branded like on the part that you see all the time. I know that um, Galen Leather makes a wood pen rest that has like a plaque, a metal plaque with their information yeah. on it right on the front. And I prefer this more like, you know, elegant... Yeah. Artistic design. And also, we're going to try to fit, well, see if the big and small, long and... Yeah, so Eve chose two pens from her collection, her yeah. longest pen and her shortest pen. Yeah, my long to try and short. In this pen rest, and I chose my, like, girthiest, widest pen and my thinnest pen to try in it. Girthiest. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um... So, yes, Brian gifted us this pen rest, but he is selling them on his in his yeah, Etsy so store. You can get one. So yes, if you, you go prepare. to Etsy, prepare. and we'll link it in our description, but his store is called Down the Breather Hole as well, and he's calling these his um, the pen bed. The pen and bed. So this is the queen size the queen. version of it, which has two queen slots size for pen pens. Bed. And then he has a king size one that has three slots yeah, for so pens. Yeah, so you can get the three one or the two one if you want. Yeah, and they're both um, the king and the queen size version are both um, the same dimension this way. So I was kind of thinking of maybe. Um, like getting another one you can set them side by side yeah, and have like even more pens like, but um so it's a beautiful wooden pen rest and it's smooth he's um put a lacquer smooth. finish on it it's smooth and you know he stained the wood and it feels and great everything it smells nice Wait. Oh. well maybe not it smells, uh. it smells you know, like like it would with the um, I don't like this with smell. the varnish on it. <laughs> but I want to smell the candles more. Okay, so I think it's a beautiful design, especially with these angles. It gives it like some movement, some dimension. You know, it's like it smells like a rotten pistachio. <laughs> so okay. If you want to take that as a con, it doesn't smell bad. It smells like, like you know, a piece of furniture, my friend. <laughs> um, but I think that he did a great job with this. You know, it really goes with my natural aesthetic. Yeah, like, um, th like, that's I have, wood, that's yeah, wood, that's wood. You'll see in a minute when we wood. show this on my desk, but I love... A wood wood look. I have yeah, like, you know all my pen boxes are made out of wood. Wood over there. Um, wood over there. Wood over there. 
And okay. even my pen collection, I tend to go for pens that have a natural look, like yeah. ones that look like stone or wood. So, so, what so this really complements my pens. Yeah. And I think that's what it does best is it just like really shows off my pens well. I've yeah. seen other pen rests before that were made out of plastic. You know, it's very common to have um, like a 3D printed plastic. Yeah, like plastic. Um, <laughs> pen rest. And those are cool and fun, but this is really more my style. And... Plastic. You know, <laughs> what did I say plastic? <laughs> I actually didn't have any pen rest before. And I never saw one that really appealed to me. There's ones that are like people or creatures like holding your pen. And yeah, like those are fun, no but this like is like, like uh, really classic looking and natural looking, and I and I prefer this. And this pen rest holds the pens low to the table, so you don't have to worry about like knocking your pens off from a high height yeah, by accident. Like, you don't want to be like. <laughs> And he's put a lot of thought into the design of this, like having the spaces between the pens so that it's easy to pick them up and, you know, the shape and the height and, you know, everything about it. So I really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, what we're saying is we really like this. Yeah. And if you've never seen Brian's videos, you should really check out his yeah. channel because he is a thoughtful guy. Yeah. Like when he like, reviews pens... They may be pens like that I already have, but he brings, you know, new thoughts to the, the table. table. Yeah. <laughs> like like things <laughs> that I, I never had thought about before. Um, he really like, you know, thinks things out and he had an awesome um, Halloween costume where he was yeah. a fountain pen and his wife was a yeah. rhodia pad. I, I want to I want to be a little ink bottle and yeah. my mom's like and mama's like a pen and dad's a paper. Yeah, we I, that I, was a great I, Halloween yeah. costume. Um and he even when he does writing samples, he often uses poetry. He writes poetry himself and he also um shows the work of other writers and it's like, you know, really thoughtful stuff yeah and so i think he put equal like, thought into this pen stand and he he said he's gonna get into resin soon and make even mm -hmm. more products so i'm excited to see those too and so, also um something else like the first like i don't watch the same videos as you but the first video that i saw of his i loved it yeah there. Like, you've really thought yeah. that all the points that he made were great. Um, yeah. One that she really appreciated was that Brian is going to be giving 10% of his profits from selling the stands to an environmental cause. Yeah, I really like that because, like, you're in some way saving the trees by yeah. cutting down the trees <laughs> saving so the trees by killing the trees he's offsetting you know whatever environmental impact um this using made. this wood or sending things in the mail causes by giving back to the environment yeah. and it's so like, that's a really good idea we humans take from the environment this yeah. is the environment okay. take from the environment and then we give back to the environment yeah. And for the next few days, the um, pen rests, or what he says, or the pen beds. The pen beds. Which the he pen thought was a great name Pen for beds with the pen pillows. <laughs> <laughs> um, for the next the few days, blankets. the price is going to be reduced by a few dollars. Um, and I think this is a great time to buy pen rests for yeah. your pen friends and for, for Christmas. Or yeah, for, like for Christmas presents, you know, yeah. it's that time of year <laughs> or whatever they say around this time. <laughs> Yeah, so these would make great gifts. I think they're really reasonably priced for a handmade object. It's a really special gift. <laughs> Me just so on the we're going to um, go over to our table and okay. show you how that the pen rest there. holds our pens. Okay? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, here we are at my writing desk. <clears throat> and you can see that um, I have my pen boxes yeah. out. Pen so those pen were made pens. by... Um, the Firebird Box Studio, Firebird Box Studio, all one word on Etsy, if you want to check those out. Um, they're upcycled um, cigar boxes that hold fountain pens. 
and I think they go really well with this pe pen stand that Brian made. So these are my two pens so, that I chose. Yep. Yeah. So Eve's got the Pen BBS 267, <laughs> which is her longest pen. <laughs> and then she's got the Twisty this, Mini, this which guy. is her shortest it's Mini! Pen. So let's see how they look so, in the pen stand. First me trying to put it in. It is kind of a bit... Oh, this, this like thin part around here, it's kind of wobbly and not like that grip mm -hmm. very much um, does it feel like it's gonna fall out or does it feel good well maybe a little bit kind of like it's gonna fall out so oh. not really recommended for this long well, pen. i think it's staying in there pretty well, well yeah but yeah it is meant to go off the end of the, the pen rest i know but like i'm still kind of worried about the pen it's oh. really well that's because shaky. of the shape of yeah. the pen i think it's looking pretty well, good well like just not pens that like are thin here and then long there and very long. Like, I mean, you can see how it kind of wiggles. It does wiggle a little bit. Yeah. And the pen stand, you know, it is slick, but um, I like how you can actually grab it pretty easily and yeah, move things. Well, you might want not want to do that over the floor, but like, I it's a good hand size that one. Yeah, and so now let's do this. Mm -hmm. I think this might work a little better because it's more thick. Okay. Well, yeah, this is basically. Well, it's kind of turning. I don't know about that. Maybe. I'm putting the clip face okay. up. Yeah, maybe clip face up. Oh, yeah, that's, that's nice. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's like if you want so to take excellent. a photo of your pens for Instagram, I think this would hold yeah. them well because I've had trouble before trying to get a picture of all my pens neatly lined up with the clips facing up. Yeah, and so let's give a little see, so, see how nice your desk yeah. can look with this pen. <laughs> it looks nice, yeah. And well, so I mean. The pen rest is amazing, but it might not work so well for pens like this one. But these ones are completely free to use. All right, your now let's take a look at my pens. So yeah. take your pens off. I'll take my pens. Take your pens yeah. off! <laughs> <laughs> so my girthiest pen is <laughs> this Wall Eversharp um, Deco Band. That is it's like pretty the girthy. oversized Deco Band. It's really a big pen. Yeah, it that is. That one fits really nicely in there. The slot is about the same size what? as that pen. That, that, I thought that wouldn't fit, honestly. And then my smallest one goes really well with my biggest one. <laughs> so this is a Waterman Vintage um, Nurse's Pen. And they are similar colors. And I think they look really well together. So that's one thing I love about this pen rest is that you can show two pens together that look really nice together on your desk. And it holds them really nicely. Yeah, it looks beautiful, honestly. It does look beautiful. All right, well. Yeah, let's let's um try to wrap okay. this up before the candles burn down all our wood mm. stuff from before. Give you an overhead view. Yeah, a little I think overhead it view. Really Don't makes, burn the iPad. <laughs> it makes two pens together look like a set. Yeah. It's really, really nice. Just a pair of pens so, looking like, beautiful on the and desk. And also, it can it can be really good for your really fragile pens that you don't want to just, you know, yeah, lay on the table. Especially for ones without clips that you're yeah. afraid of rolling. Like, hard, hard got. Well, the very um, fragile ones should like you can put them in here instead of just you know laying them out yeah see the one that eve has the pen bbs doesn't have a clip so that one's yeah. in danger of rolling right yeah. off the desk so but also like <laughs> this doesn't really well it isn't the best for yeah but this, i think it works so, pretty well yeah okay so thank you so much brian for sending yeah, us thank this you pen so much we love it we love it <laughs> And we're looking forward to seeing what else you create. We hope yeah. that um, you know some people. We send some people to your um, videos and to your Etsy store.
Yeah. All right. And Thanks, if, everyone. Brian, if you're watching, oh. uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Have a great Bye. holiday season. Bye.